Many technologies that are key to decarbonizing the global economy, like electric vehicles and renewables, rely on crucial minerals from mining. However, 30 to 50% of copper, gold, iron ore and zinc mining happens in regions with high, increasing water stress, while energy from mining operations contributes 1% of global GHG emissions. In short, extracting metals requires increasing amounts of energy and water, leading to a large environmental footprint. So how do we make mining more sustainable and the path to decarbonisation more environmentally sound? As a leading provider of innovative technology, equipment and expertise to the mining industry, FL Smith is part of the solution. That's why we've launched our Mission Zero Sustainability Programme, aimed at enabling our customers to move towards zero emissions, water waste and energy waste by 2030. With water, mining faces several issues. Overall water use, energy costs in sourcing water, and management of water-heavy mining waste, known as tailings. There are already solutions that can help resolve these challenges. Large-scale dewatering of tailings by filtering allows over 90% of the water to be reused, significantly reducing the need for fresh water and energy required. Less water in the mining waste creates a more stable dry tailings area, resulting in a smaller environmental footprint, as the byproduct can be stacked and land can be easier to reclaim after the mine closes. One way to cut mining CO2 emissions is to replace all diesel-driven equipment and trucks with in-pit crushing and solar-powered conveying systems when possible. Elsewhere, crushing, milling and grinding currently account for 2.7% of all electrical energy consumed globally. We are working to find alternative technologies in these areas to reduce the amount of fine grinding required, decreasing energy consumption. These are just some areas in which we can make sustainable mining a reality. But Mission Zero goes beyond what can be achieved with current technologies. To this end, digitalization, innovation and collaboration will be key. We need suppliers, customers, regulators, policymakers and think tanks alike to join with us to co-create and help implement the solutions needed to drive change and ensure a greener, cleaner future.